John chapter number one, verse number six. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The apostle John now takes a slight turn in his introduction of the Mashiach, the Messiah. And he takes it so he went and proved in Genesis that Yeshua or Jesus was with the Father at creation. But now he goes and takes and proves through the scriptures that the one spoken of, the forerunner that was supposed to come and bear witness to the light was fulfilled just as well. There are several, several scriptures that talks about this, but we're just going to look at Isaiah chapter number 40, verses number three, four, and five. And you can read the rest of this if you want to. This is wonderful reading. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Then verse number four, it goes on to tell us how every valley shall be exalted and every mountain shall be flat. Every crook place shall be made straight and the rough places shall be made plain. And this is the one I love. And the glory of Jehovah, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. This is such an important concept that we are about to go into. Now, we know back in the time of John, back in the time of the Apostle Paul, in the time of Peter, in the times of James, and the rest of the apostles, a lot of the rabbis had looked at the scriptures, some scriptures talked about a suffering servant. Some scriptures talked about a conquering king. Both were messianic scriptures. The rabbis deemed that there were going to be two messiahs coming. Mashiach ben Yosef and Mashiach ben David. In other words, there was going to come a suffering servant after the order of Joseph. We remember how he was in Egypt for 13 years, sold by his brothers as a slave, and he suffered for 13 years. And then the second is David, the conquering king, the one that led Israel to great and mighty victory. So the rabbis believed that there were going to be two messiahs But as we see, what actually happened, there was or there is one Messiah with two different comings. His first coming is that of a suffering servant. His second coming is that of the conquering king. Now, when you put that together, that gives you an incredible piece of knowledge of working with prophecies. A lot of scriptures dealing with end time prophecies are dual prophecies. What do you mean? The same Isaiah chapter number 40 talks about how the voice of him crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Just like John prepared the way for Jesus or Yeshua the first time there will be a forerunner or a witness to his second coming the book of Revelation gives us a hint at who this may be when you read about the two witnesses hint witnesses their name even suggests that they could be witnesses for the coming Messiah or coming Mashiach. And it's several verses. Even Jesus talked about this himself in scripture. So this gives us an incredible 
piece of information that arms us with that a lot of times when we read scriptures about his first coming, they will pertain most likely to his second coming as well. Father, we bless you and we worship you. Be glorified and be magnified. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Let your glory be revealed in Jesus, Yeshua's name.